foot coming in under the door. All right, so what else can you do? Remember, when they're on the ground, that's when you're going to have a problem for the most part. Now, you have a hook. He's not going to like it. You put it in. He's like, what's this? But watch. No good, no good, no good. Now, the hook comes closer to him. He's not sure what it is. Notice what happens here. Notice how I'm doing it. Okay, shh. I didn't, I didn't do the shush thing. He gets got quiet once I picked him up. All right? I didn't even do it. Let's do it again with a different sort of a variation. So, he rattles, puts he's down. It's worth bearing in mind, isn't it? He rattles when he's down. They hood up when they're down. You don't want to pick up a snake when they're down. Even, even if it's, say, a death adder. A death adder, rough name, but they're very sweet. They're easy to handle. All of them. I shouldn't say all of them. The overwhelming, as a rule, death adders are pretty chill snakes. Even with death adder, you should not be picking up from the ground, no matter what the snake is, right? And they'll work with you. So here he is on the ground. He's not happy. I could step on him. He's trying to let me know, don't do that. I'm bigger. He's smaller, much smaller because I'm up and he's down. Oh, and a million other reasons. So, hook comes gentle towards the first third of his body without even shushing. Watch what happens. Let me just get him. Okay. And I didn't tell him to do that. Now, if you add the shush, he'll feel even better. Even though he's not rattling, shh. Watch his tongue flex change. See, they're out longer. Now, when I put them down, all bets are off. As stupid as you may feel making that sound, and no matter how gently you put them down, it's going to cry, it's rattle. As stupid as you might feel, notice the change. One, but just by lifting them up, you're going to be better off. Two, with the shh, the wind sound. But there's something else that we should really add to that mix. So let's first get him out nice and gentle. Part of it is when you take a snake out, you don't want to take it out by you chasing it. That was, well, that could have been two things. You don't want to, you don't want to go faster than it normally goes. That's a major thing. If you take a snake out, when it's out, it might still be a little bit reactive because you went too fast. If you do this long enough, you'll see there's, this is, there's no debate whatsoever on this. This is a fact. If you take them out too fast, they remember that. Even though they'll stop rattling or they'll stop putting up, they do remember and over time you'll see there's a correlation. Let's take them out and do it the right way. So they go slowly, you say hi, shakes. I name them shakes because when you talk to them it actually helps. Shakes, right? So. See, he's already better. Now watch his tongue flicking. Okay. It's almost like a hunger flick. Notice how fast he's going. And now watch. Now let him come down first like this. First he's going to be quiet. And now he's going to be calm. Watch. Shh. Watch the tongue flicks change. Almost like he's not hungry, almost like the flick of a hunger. When he's getting a little bit defensive, the flick is almost like a hunger flick, just faster. Then when you, you have him out, you take him, there's three things. One, move the hook, moving this slower than them, all of these. You don't need to go faster than them, let them move, and you bring this, he's not going to like this. But you bring this to the other side, where they are, you don't have to chase them, one. To that sound, it's okay, baby. Shh. 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 See, now it's gonna, it's gonna rattle when he's down or out. And three, just the very act of taking him out, which I should have made two. Those three things 
moving slower than them, which you can do always. You're fighting your own fear. If you move too fast like that, he doesn't like that. Right? If you move slower than him, he's not moving at all, so I won't move at all. When I work with him, one of the reasons that he doesn't bite, you know, I know what he doesn't like. He doesn't like that. I honestly have to scratch. But silence can do it also. So we understand each other. Now he's going to start to rattle. See? All right. So you get to know them. You start to work with silences. But in, in the beginning, the hook should not go faster than them. Two, just the very act of taking them out, take them out slower than they would normally move. All right? So you're not moving faster than them ever. Three, the sound of wind. Shh. And we'll be talking more tomorrow about silence. The act of, he won't like this, the act of talking and then... When you want him to stop, you're talking, talking, and talking, and you say, hey. And he stops rattling until you talk. Right? So you're a good boy. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. He looks so handsome in his new skin. All right. You want to stay out for a little bit? You can stay. We'll work a little bit more. I'm going to work with him more. I hope that helped. If not, it can't hurt. You don't eat my toes. Be a good boy. I know Shakes is a good boy. You're always a good boy. Check this out. Check this out. My little guy here. Shh, I got you. I got you. Shakes, he shed. Look at how his shed came out. Like his mouth is open. It's almost like he's striking. We'll be auctioning off this. We'll be auctioning off the shed. Uh, the price will be starting at nothing. And we'll work its way up to free. So if you want this shed, you let me know. Okay. So... I want to show you something about calming them down, going from what we were doing yesterday. That is part of the, uh, what I've been trying to share. I haven't shared much over the last four decades, so I figured here's the time. Okay, so he's all hyped up. This makes it worse. Much worse. Okay. Shakes is a good boy. Shakes is a good boy. Shakes is a good boy. No, he might he might rattle because I'm talking is a thing. Shakes is a good boy. Shakes. Shakes is a good boy. Shakes. Once I talk, he's gonna rattle. <laughs> Alright, so. What happened there? Let's see. Shakes is rattling. We talked about that a little bit. It's okay, little horn. How to get Shakes to be a happy snake. First of all, let's notice what a handsome snake he is. Look at him. Look at him. His new skin. Isn't he beautiful? Look at that. Look at him. He's so proud. Rightly so. Okay, shh. Okay, buddy. Shakes. It always works until you talk. Shh. Okay, so step one, you're making a sound that's it sounds like you try to be go bored, don't cry. It sounds like wind. Shh. Alright, so sorry. Well, imagine you're a rattlesnake, you're rattling, you're scared, you're crying. Okay? A predator comes. You're more scared. You rattle more. So now, a wind comes. Shh. Takes the scent away. See? Now he doesn't want to give away his position. See, now he goes on talking. He doesn't want to give it away because he's rattling. The predator knows where he is. Wind comes. Sorry. Wind comes. He realizes that were he to rattle, he's going to let the animal know where he is. So he stops. Let's watch it again. Shh. Even he doesn't like this. Even with my hand up, though. Shh. It always works. But anyway, I don't care how aggro, whatever. I can easily calm it down. But there's more. Let me hit stop for a second. You'll be good.